What is up, everyone? My name is Luna. Welcome to another episode of Animal Crossing 365 Day Playthrough. Uh, today is, should be day 97. We're getting uh, almost close to 100 days. Uh, am I planning anything? Not really. I don't know what really to do, to be honest with you. Uh, but what's going on with me? Well, I can't find my video game that I bought. Which was awesome, with my own money, and I and I don't make a lot of money, so it's a big deal to me. Uh, it takes at least three months to be able to be able to make the amount of money that I, I made to be able to buy the game. So you know, it, it, it's awesome. Um, I, apparently, Buddy lost my Fire Emblem Awakening game. Doves again, boy, joyous. And I don't know where the hell it is, to be honest with you. Hey, everybody, the Flower Fest is today. Flower Fest? What is that to? I didn't expect yesterday. I didn't expect any today to be a, a date of any sort. Um, but it pisses me off, I'm not gonna lie. Um, that he touched something that was mine. Because I last, I remember playing it around like three, three, three or four days ago. And, um, I went to go turn it on. I turned on the 3DS, and Luigi's Mansion's in there. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, Alright, I'll, I'll... May maybe I took it out and put it in the case like I did last time. So I look at my case, which I have it right in front of me. Open the case, and the game's not in there. I'm like, oh, I wonder what I did with it. And so I tried looking for it, looked for it. Cleaned off the computer, did all those wonderful things looking for the damn game, and, uh, buddies asked me what the hell I was doing, and I told him that I was looking for the game, and he said he took it out and put it right here on the desk, right to the right of me, right here, and then I, I look, I try to look for it, and I can't fucking find it anywhere. I was like, okay... I look under the desk, I look underneath my monitor, I look uh, everywhere. Under, I swept underneath just to see if I missed anything. Uh, just, I, I did everything. I looked at the top, behind the printer, everywhere. And the game wasn't there. And, you know, I pretty much ended up cleaning around the area around my computer, which it was a mess to begin with. And uh, I ended up cleaning it, so that, I guess that's a good side of it. But I can't find it for the fucking life of me. And he can't find it. It's not where he put it. He says he's sorry and he didn't mean to. I was like, it's alright, buddy. It's just that I, I won't be playing the game anymore, so that's fine. And, you know, and then he got sad and he felt bad because he know how much I wanted the game. And he says if it was his, if he had money, he would buy it back. And I was like, alright, that's fine, but you don't have to get so put over for it. But I am mad at him for the sole reason that he touched my game <laughs> he's not supposed to at all never he's supposed to ask me uh, if he's gonna switch out games for the 3ds or anything along those lines so I can put him away correctly he does not take care of anything at all um, and you know like, that, that pisses me off but yeah whatever he's just a little guy but I'm still pissed at him not gonna lie, he lost my game that I paid for, and the ship's a lot of money. Time to get your gardening gloves on, because it's time for the Animal Flower Fest. Uh, we got a week to make the most fabulous garden we can. When Sunday rolls around, uh, we'll find out who's got the best garden in town. The winner gets a trophy and covered in title of green thumb, nutmeg. I reckon you start planning and planning your garden now. <laughs> what? I already have a garden, per se. Teddy, get away from me, you fucking weirdo. Are you gonna give me something for today, dude? Hi there, young Luna. Starting today, Astaria is a bloom. If I mean spirit, it's what the flower starts today. So if you want to learn more about it, you better start buttering me up. Uh, pretty please? During the flower fest, the residents transform the air around their home to a garden of their dreams. After everyone's town has done so, I will choose the best garden of the last day of the flower fest. That will grant the best garden to uh, the title of the green thumb. If you continue buttering me up, perhaps I'll tell you more. You're the best. At least you get any foolish ideas. It's not just about planting flowers, willy nitty. A beautiful garden is well planned with a sense of order and dignity. 
Uh, but for money, I like dazzling, dense uh, array of flowers. Yay, glamour, glamour. Well, you should take this sprout. Black. Okay. A white tulip bag for you. This is just a symbol of the thanks for letting my heart go to garden bloom. With a actually heliosis. So I watched the Torkoal versus Dragon Ball Z versus um, One Piece, and it was fucking awesome. Uh, it was in Japanese, so I couldn't fucking understand anything Moon speak by. So what I got from the story, uh, they went to a tournament. It's hosted by uh, Ego or, or IGO, which is a big place in uh. Which is pretty much big, yeah. They're, they're a big part of Toriko. They actually they're a super big part of Toriko. They're what makes the Toriko world like fucking spin around. And um, uh, and obviously there's the announcer. There's Hercule giving a prize, I think. And the prize is jewel meat. I believe it's jewel meat. Jewel meat is a thing that uh, actually, it's it's good with everyone's cells, and they actually. <laughs> In Torical, if you don't know, pretty much the whole thing's about cells, and um, if you have specific, uh, pretty much these specific cells need specific food, and pretty much what's in Torico, uh everyone's specific within the jewel meat because of how rare and decadent it is. It's cut from the, uh, it's this special part of a, a mammoth. Uh, a grand mammoth, which is the size of probably like a mountain of some sort, a small mountain, and uh, I don't know. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. I like Toriko. Toriko is really awesome. Uh, obviously, Goku was there. Vegeta was there. He fought Zebra and fucking Zebra and Zoro, which was interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I found that completely interesting. I thought that was kind of silly, uh, but. Zebra and Zoro would definitely do a f uh, would be a good fight if you really think about it. It'd be kind of weird, kind of be off match. But um, since Zebra's the fucking he's a monster, he is literally a monster. He put monsters extinct. He's killed people. He doesn't fucking care. He eats so much he ripped open the side of his mouth and it's like showing. And he's fucking badass. And um, you know I don't know he's. But, I don't know, Vegeta came in for a little bit and he, like, they fought? I don't know, it's fucking weird, he just did, uh, he just did an energy beam both ways. I, I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, pretty much the story was that there's this special beast that, uh, drinks power and they sucked everyone's power pretty much. And that's how it got so powerful that Toriko, uh, Goku, and... And Luffy had to go take it down, and pretty much what happened is, uh, it got so powerful since it took everyone, like, the whole cast from every single, like, almost everyone. It took Gohans, Piccolos, fucking Gotenks, Super Saiyan mode, it took Sanji's, it took Brooks, it took, it took Frankie's, it took, it took everyone's, like, <laughs> it took almost, uh, almost the whole cast, and it was awesome. And pretty much it became so super powered that, uh, Elephant Pistol, Hockey, no, Elephant, Elephant Gatling Gun, uh, Gatling, uh, Hockey, and, uh, 15 Ren, I believe, actually, no, I believe it was 25 Ren, I think, and, uh, Kamehameha, uh, could not take it down, and so, uh, what, ha what they needed was, a uh, was a Spirit Bomb, and a Spirit Bomb took it out, along with, a uh, Gatling, uh, Elephant pistol and uh, a 25 Ren, I believe, and that was pretty cool. Uh, what I think actually, what what happened, why the DBZ characters were kind of dumbed down. Um, King Kai actually, you know, he made a little appearance, and King Kai was like, I, I think King Kai says something along those lines that they're a little bit different than you guys, so take a meet, so take it easy on them. I think that's what he said. Because obviously the Dragon Ball Z characters would get beat Torko and Loop and um, One Piece, undoubtedly. Uh, unless Haki does something to Dragon Ball Z characters, because uh, Haki can block almost any attack in um, One Piece, and it can kill anything uh, 
that is mystical, and I guess the powers in Dragon Ball Z are mystical in a way. Uh, but you know, people would say I'm crazy just from what I'm talking about. Dragon Ball Z beats everything, sort of, kind of. Uh, I doubt Dragon Ball Z could beat anything from, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Definitely not. I doubt it 100%. But, no. That's because people have things that can control fucking, fucking the sun and... Uh, even people who can control the sun in that in that series, they're weak as hell, and it's fucking... It's weird. <laughs> it's weird seeing someone who has the power of the sun, and they're weak, and they get one shot in. I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know. Definitely a series to check out. I've been checking it out every once in a while. I've been watching it. It's, I believe it's still ongoing. Uh, it's fucking epic. It's just manly men fucking one another up. It's awesome. Everyone has a different taste in anime. People like anime with a... With a taste. With a taste. With a taste. With a taste. Or story. Some people like animes with titties. Some people like anime with no titties in story. And in which I like, which I'm starting to like, which is interesting. I, I'm getting so tired of the fucking... Oh, titties, 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 anime, which is, you know... So fucking tiring. I'm not gonna lie. It's ah, uh, uh, I'm tired of it. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I'm over it. I'm so over it. I'm over it. Yeah, pretty much. I'm over. I'm so fucking tired of it. It was interesting when I was going through puberty, but now since I'm grown up and I could care less about titties, really, uh, I guess I like titties, but. Yeah care less about them where I actually can ignore them? Oh my god. Yeah. I'd rather not see those there, ever, in my face, in the anime. When there's scenes that need them, they could be in there. But if it's when the sister's crying to the brother, and they show a random close-up of her smashing her chest into his chest, no. Fucking stop. Why you don't you stop? Right, let's see. One, two, three. Yep. Hopefully these can be planted. If it doesn't, I was gonna pick all the trees, but since it's flower day and I'm stealing everyone's flowers, I'm gonna do that. Okay. I will go do that tomorrow. It's all good in the hood. It's all good. Also, I made a rant video this morning, which was pretty good. I I, I liked it. I used to make videos like that all the time. I covered a whole bunch of things. Uh, not just YouTube. Uh, the YouTube was the main focus, but, you know, pretty much what I said in there, I most likely will not say ever again, which is stuff I've been saying all the time. Um, but hey, you know, whatever. I'll check when it has views at the end of the month, because I usually don't check, uh, the progress of stuff for half a month. Uh, it usually takes me a while to check the progress of, uh, playthroughs and stuff like that. I don't really actively look at them that much anymore. Well, I never really did, but some people may beg to differ. But uh, I hardly ever, you know, look at playthroughs and how they're doing. I usually go off on what I've seen every once in a while, or maybe when I make a glance, and it's usually every once in a while. So, here we go. It's cool. It's cool. Give me your flowers. Oh shit, I got so many flowers that I can't carry them. This is awesome. This is amazing. Thank you, people, for planting your flowers. I'm going to fucking win the Green Thumb Award because I have more flowers around my house than you do. <laughs> uh, let's see. But yes. Uh, I'm really disappointed that my 3DS game is gone. It was fucking $40, man. Forty fucking dollars, which is a lot of money to me. I don't like spending money. I don't like wasting money. I use YouTube money. Shit, I don't make a lot of YouTube money. It's fucking... That's a lot of money, man. I don't know. If I can't find it, I'm gonna try to talk my mom into buying one. for Buy me another game. Or wait when it gets cheap and she'll buy it for me. Because I'm not fucking buying it. I'm definitely not. I like the game, but, um... 
Definitely not worth buying twice, let's just say that. <sighs> Definitely not worth buying twice. Tree would go here, the PlayStation here. I've yet to see any dig spots because uh, since I placed his stuff here, which I find interesting. I expected more, I guess you could say. Well, since I'm running out of things to talk about, I guess I'll end this shit here. I don't give a fuck. Uh, this series not really anything anyway. Just me talking. Not really, I, I guess people could get really tired of someone talking after a while. I'm surprised no one really has. Who knows? So I think I'm just gonna end it off. Hold on, let me water this over here. So I could pick it up tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. So until next time, guys, my name is Luna, and as always, stay frosty, people. <laughs>